our next selection tools over here are is the lasso tool. We have three of these: the irregular lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. Again, we have our feathered edge. If we want to do that, we have our different controls here for how you work with these selections. We have the anti-aliasing. This simply smooths out edges as you're doing those. Now the way these work is you drag around the image and use this to select random shapes. Say I wanted to select this airplane shape, I can click down here and then drag along the edge and come in and try to do kind of a nice clean little lasso of this particular shape. just like that. Now it's difficult to use the lasso tool for any really clean tight work. It can be done but it, it's hard to do. I'm just going to come around fast here to the end. Come to your beginning point, just cross over the beginning point, let go, and it then makes that selection based upon that lasso. The magnetic lasso tool tries to come in and follow an edge. Notice here we can adjust the width of that and the contrast that it's looking for and it should follow an edge pretty well if there's enough contrast on that edge. Now it's doing okay back there, not too bad here. It's okay around that tail. Luckily this airplane is standing out pretty well from the background. It's kind of messing up along the top edge there. and it messed up there a little bit. It's having a hard time finding that edge of that wing. So as you can see, if you have real nice high contrast, this can do a pretty good job. It kind of misses the edge of that wing there. can't find the edge. And then just cross over it again. And there you go. So it missed a little bit in here. missed the edge up there. It missed this part up here but pretty good for a lot of that. You can control how it's managing that by adjusting these settings down here to see how it works. But again, this is not going to work out well if you have low contrast, like the dark side of the edge against a dark background. Had a real hard time finding that, you know, very similar in color. It did just fine up here where there was real distinct differences. So it depends upon what you're following around on how well this will work. It would be easy to use that around the building back here, for instance but difficult on that. So it worked out pretty well around that tree, for instance. So that is the magnetic lasso. Then we have my personal favorite, which is the polygonal lasso tool. What this does is you click on a point and then you move the lasso and click again and it fills lines in next to where you've clicked. This is one that I almost always use whenever I'm doing any kind of careful selection. So I just kind of you know move along and then click. So I'll do a click here and click there and I'll just kind of come along and click. The nice thing about this is that I can you know reposition the end until it's right where I want it and I can be very accurate with this tool. You can even get little bits like that antenna right there. very easy to control. So you know, there, there's the line. I just come in and find my next spot and then click. So I have a lot of control in here with this tool to find the exact spot that I want to have that next point be in my in my lines. It also pulls straight lines so if you're working along a straight edge like the end of the tail here, it's very easy to get a real nice clean straight line on that on that straight edge. So again, when, I, when I'm doing this kind of work, I almost always choose the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just working around here, just clicking on these edges. I'll, I'll come clear outside. You actually can click outside if you want to. And there's that bottom edge of that wing, real easy, nice, clean. I'm ignoring that wheel down there. I'm going to come just right around here as if that door is shut. And let's get the bottom of that wing. And there we go, real nice, clean cutout on that airplane. Now the nice thing about this is I can then 
use that marquee to put this airplane on a different background or create a different background for this. Let me show you that. I'm going to edit and I want to edit and copy that and then we can use that middle for your uh, layer. Let's just do a new layer based on copy of that piece. Actually I see what's happened here. I'm on the wrong layer again. Let's go back to our layers back here to the background layer and I'm going to lock actually they're hidden. Let's just lock that layer and then I'll lock that layer so those don't get in the way again. Background layer, there we go. We'll do more of those layers a little later on. So let's do a new layer here, layer new by copy. There we go, let's look at our layers again. And there's that new layer, I'll hide that background. And there's the airplane all by itself on that new layer. I can then put this into sky if I wanted to and have my jet plane flying through the sky very easily by using that polygonal lasso tool to do that real nice border or real nice selection. You can see it there it is. I'll just choose OK on that. So, And of course I can move it around if I want to. I can rotate this. If I want to just off the corner and I can rotate that around. And I can get just the effect that I want. There we go. On that airplane. So that's using the different lasso tools over here and again that's what I almost always go for if I'm doing any kind of work like this, this kind of careful selections.